Hello, hello, Lady Gaga. Hello. We met in Venice. We met in Venice last time, and first of all, congratulations for your performance because it's really brilliant, really brilliant. Thank and, uh, you so uh, much. And I'm an honest guy, but I don't think that. I don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. I'm. Let's, let's start. Let's start. Um, uh, the, the last time it was a challenge, but you have to play a singer. This time it's quite really a new challenge uh, in this big fa family tragedy. Then what was your state of mind when you discovered this challenge? You know, uh, first of all, I just want to thank you for this interview today and for taking the time to talk to me about such a deeply personal experience. Uh, making this film was if not the, the best artistic time I've had in my entire career. Uh, I, I realized the challenge of this character very early on, but I think the challenge of the character was also the thing that I loved. Uh, my state of mind changed throughout the entire process. For six months, I worked on the accent and building a backstory and biography for the character. It's, her biography is about 80 pages of backstory uh, that I wrote myself after reading, researching, watching every interview. Uh, and I started in a state of mind where I was very much Stefania, my Italian name. Uh, I was me, but, but I was talking with an accent so that I could get used to having conversations in a way that was uh, true to myself and that, that the, the voice was not doing it for me, but that I was talking. And I then moved into a place where I realized that uh, my, my reason for taking this role was because it was a challenge and also because it was not what we thought it was. When she married Maurizio, he did not have any money. When she put the hit out on Maurizio, they were divorced. So this thing that people think about her, that this was all about the money, is actually not the case. And I found that very fascinating. And I thought to myself, how can I do as much research as possible, like a journalist, and, and decide for myself what took place here, which is I believe he fell in love with her strength. And I believe she was madly in love with him. And I also think she was infiltrating a male system. And my, my state of mind while infiltrating that male system was in mode of survival. I was, I was in a survival mode almost all the time because she was. So if Patrizia was feeling it, I was feeling it. Uh, the method of Ridley Scott, he, he works very quickly and with uh, multiple cameras and you have to be really in the scene uh, at once. Was it difficult this way of working for you? I really loved working this way. I would do any film with Ridley Scott. I love working with him. Uh, it, it is different. It is faster. Uh, but, you know, Susan Batson, my acting teacher, her and I worked for s six months before I even left. And she uh, she every day watched me on set over Zoom. And uh, Be uh, Beatrice Pelicia was there with me also to work on my accent and my acting too. Uh, and I just, I had a very specific uh, analysis of the script that I brought with me every day on set. Now, ultimately, when you get to set, you throw all the work out the window because you have to be present and you have to be in the moment with the actor. But I love the way Ridley shot because when Ridley shoots, he's getting everybody at the same time. So you don't focus on one actor and then turn around. You get the real scene. You get the juice. You get the alchemy. You get the chemistry. And I don't think that there's anything better than that. I d dare I say he's a genius for working this way and that it's up to us as the actors to be prepared for him. Uh, shortly, how do you see the future? How can you share your time between acting and, and, and making a, a new album? You know, I, um, I only do work that speaks to me and I do work that I believe will speak to the public and make them smile. So I'm not sure yet what my next venture will be, but it will surely be something that is meaningful to my heart. And this movie's meaningful to my heart. Uh, this, this really happened. This is a real life story. 
and I I believed that it deserved to be told in the most honest way possible. And I, I encourage people to remember that uh, myself, at least, and I think I can speak on behalf of our, my cast as well, we want to make the public smile. And Ridley loves making people feel entertained and transported into other worlds. And if you haven't been to the theater in a while, this is the time to go because it's so fun. And after 18 months of COVID, come be with our, our family, our crazy Gucci family, because we're here, we're here to make you laugh. We're here to make you smile. And that's who we are. And uh, I, I'm happy to share my heart with, with the world in that way.